That's dumb. You're dumb. I just want to be the one you love. I just want to be the one you love. Hey guys, it's Mary B bringing you the mayhem and before I get into the video, I want to apologize. I know the audio is off. I know I sound a little echoey and that's because I'm in this giant room. I'm on vacation and I am not where I normally am. So even my poor little Yeti mic is only able to do so much about it. So I apologize for that, for that like off the bat before we even get into this. But let's go ahead and we're going to start talking about this. This is insane. So Hasbro, Hasbro has gone woke. Go woke! Go broke Hasbro. So they've decided they're going to release a new, v a new game and this one is called Miss Monopoly. And this is meant to address the gender pay gap. Now, we are not going to get into debunking the gender pay gap here on this channel because that's not what I'm about. What I will say is it has been thoroughly debunked multiple times. You can do your own research on this. Go on Google. Look it up. Uh, gender pay gap, pay gap is something that boils down to the differences between choices that men and women make typically when they pursue a job. So it's kind of nonsense. But let's just, let's just say for the sake of argument here. Let's just say for the sake of argument that it were a thing, right? Let's just say that. How do you propose that introducing a game, a board game, where women now get to do what it is that you claim men have been doing all along, which is have this leg up in the whole ordeal. Let's say that women now are able to, to make more money than men for no particular reason other than by virtue of the parts that are between their legs. Let's just say that. How do you propose that this is going to help the situation by swinging the pendulum in the other direction? That's not how you fix these kinds of problems. This is such a go woke, go broke kind of moment here. Hasbro, did you learn nothing from Gillette? Did you see nothing about how much money they lost? Look, I know you have a lot of games. You're not particularly all tied up onto one, but no one is going to buy this game, okay? And even if a bunch of women do go out and buy it because they can get a leg up on the game, no one's going to want to play it with them because that's called cheating. That's called cheating. It's a game. Get woke politics and the agenda out of our entertainment. No one wants this. It's so, okay, so as I understand it, here's how the game essentially works. You go around the board as per normal, right? But women, when they land on go, by virtue of their lady lumps, get an extra $40. So men get 200 and women get 240 every time they pass go. That is is nonsense. That is complete and utter insanity. No one is going to want to play this game because it's rigged. And don't sit around acting like, oh, well, life is rigged. No, people make choices. They make decisions for themselves. If I went out and I did the exact same job as a man with the exact same credentials, worked the exact same hours, and had been working it for the exact same amount of time, I promise you that I would get paid the same amount of money because there are laws in place to prevent people from doing otherwise. This is not a situation where women are being given the shaft. <laughs> Sorry, giggity. This is not one of those situations. And the fact that you're like, well, <laughs> monopolizing on this concept, I suppose it makes sense to, in, in the context of, oh, you're trying to take advantage of the woke PC culture and maybe make a little money off of it. But if we've learned anything about the woke people, it's that they don't have any money to spend. They don't spend money on this kind of stuff. People who have jobs spend money on this kind of stuff. People who focus their efforts and their 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 time on things that matter. We're the ones who contribute to things. We're the ones who buy things. We're the ones who, who engage with these products. So I, I really, at first I thought it was a joke. I actually thought that this was a joke when I first saw this, but nope, it's not. They're actually releasing it and it is complete and utter nonsense. Hasbro, I'm sorry, boo, but you go woke and you go broke. Good luck with that. Guys, those are my thoughts on this particular com uh, on this particular topic. Leave your thoughts in the in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think and I will talk to you later. Love love. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And hey, feel free to follow me over on Twitter. See you guys around.